The final sheet for major assignment one is the currency conversion sheet. On this sheet, you'll convert from dollars to non-US currencies and from non-US currencies to dollars. Here, you will notice the budget and currency amounts are provided in row four. Those are also dependent on your having entered your name on the income analysis sheet. So if you see anything other than numbers here, make sure that you've completed that. In this case, we're going to use a currency conversion website to look at specific exchange rates. The URL is provided here. You can also left click on this link to open up that site. I have it open already. I'll show you how to use that in a second. We start by entering the first and second letters of our first and last names. In this case, Thunderlope, TH, first two letters of the first name, and LO, first two letters of the last name. Next, we select some countries that we're going to look up the currency information for. These have to be selected from the list at the bottom of the sheet. And we'll just go ahead and pick the first one from the T section as a demonstration. So here we'll put pick Taiwan as our first item. If you have repeated letters, then you'll just go on to the next one in a particular section. And if you've run out of items in that section, you would simply move on uh, to the next letter. We're going to enter the current date as the date that we look up our information. This matters because the amounts change daily uh, when we're looking at the exchange rates. The currency codes are not provided. So at this point, we need to go to the currency conversion sheet. Let me demonstrate that at this point. Here's what that looks like. You'll notice that we have an amount, and you'll always want to select this direction. You want to know how much $1 in US currency is in the other currency. We select from the list, and these are a bit out of order, so it may take a while to find your specific item. Here we have Taiwan. We found it. The Taiwan new dollar is the appropriate um, selection. Notice the currency code here is TWD. And we would now press convert to get our exchange rate. In this case, we want to note the exchange rate to three decimals. So it's 31.391 TWD. We take that back over. To our worksheet, we enter the currency code. We enter the conversion rate to three decimals. The trip budget amount is the conversion of the budget amount in B4 to foreign currencies. So in this case, we need to multiply by the exchange rate. Similarly, for the foreign currency amount, we're converting the amount in D4 from foreign currency to US dollars. So we need to divide by the exchange rate. 
Here, note that by selecting an appropriate fixed reference to the column, we'll also be able to copy the formula over to the right if we want. After we fill in the formulas for a particular column, we'll also want to do formatting. A formatting step that a lot of people forget is in row 19. Here we have to explicitly format to three decimal places, which means that we need to select number and then increase the number of decimals that display. The other two formats in rows 20 and 21 are going to be currency, but in row 20, we're going to want to select the prefix corresponding to the currency for the uh, country. If I right click in the cell and select the format cells option from the drop down, you'll notice that we have a symbol item. And if we scroll down, we'll see that all of these prefixes are provided here. So we scroll down to our prefix. In this case, TWD for Taiwan. When we press OK, we'll note that the prefix now appears in the formatting. Note that this is not something that we typed in. This is part of the formatting itself. And then for the items in row 21, we've converted to US dollars. So those have to be formatted as currency, in this case, to two decimal places. We repeat the same procedure for each of the other columns. And that completes this worksheet as well as major assignment one.